Hello, I'm Anna Williamson and welcome back to my brand new series, The Wedding Hub on My Wedding Scrapbook. So, last week we covered wedding day fears and this week so many of you said you need help dealing with your wedding guest list and invites. So I'm giving you my top tips to help you manage it. Let's get started. So, what's my first SOS call? Hi Anna, uh, my question is about who to invite and uh, who should pay for it. My in-laws want to invite several people that I don't know, I've never met in my life, and they expect that we should pay for it, and it gets expensive, and you can only invite so many people, so I'm not quite sure how to handle that. The last thing I want to do is insult you know, the family I'm moving into, so any advice? Oh, now it's always tricky when family members insist on people you've never met attend your wedding. I get that you don't want to offend your new in-laws, but you also have to balance and prioritise your guest allocation and the costs involved too. So, choose a good time to chat along with your fiancé to your in-laws and inquire who these people are and why they would like them to come to the wedding. Then suggest how you're going to pay for all the guests and if they would perhaps consider contributing to help spread the mounting cost. It's only fair, right? Essentially though, it's your day and you should have who you want to be there to witness it. Okay, you don't want to offend your in-laws, but the wedding guest list is not a bottomless pit and guests do have to be prioritised. After all, there wouldn't be a wedding without you. Right, SOS number two, please. Hi Anna, I just have a quick question um, for a friend of mine. I'm helping her plan a wedding. There's just one concern, the venue's a little small, so as far as plus one, she's a little limited with how many guests can attend, but she wants everybody to have fun, including her single friends. What kind of advice would you give about plus one policy? Right, I hear you. Plus one policy is always a bit tricky, okay? If the venue is a little bit small, then there is your brilliant excuse to not extend the invites out. Try and be as honest as you can and explain that you'd love to be able to offer a plus one, but due to the venue size and costs, it just isn't possible. If anybody has a problem with it, then they seriously need to have a word with themselves. SOS call number three. Hi Anna, I'm the mother of the groom and I'm interested in how to handle the guest list. How do we not offend people that we can not invite to the wedding? I hear this so many times. Managing the guest list really is one of the most stressful parts of planning a wedding. At all times though, remember that this is your wedding, so you should have whoever you feel should be there for your day. Choosing one person over another is always gonna be difficult and it's always gonna have mixed opinions. If you cannot invite certain guests, then I would recommend that you tell them. Don't let them find out, or even worse, be told by somebody else. It'll only make you feel awkward, and the last thing you want is a rift at what should be a very happy time. Explain your reasons personally. At the very least, the uninvited guests will respect the fact that you've had the decency to tell them. Well, thank you for those SOS about wedding invites. Um, and if anyone else needs a few top tips, here's number four. I'm always a big fan of a family meeting, so have a family meeting and each write a guest list. Then compare. Names that double up will be easy to agree to, and others, well, you can all discuss objectively to get the most balanced, mutually agreeable guest list possible. And finally, number five. Big word this one, compromise. <laughs> you may have to agree to make a few compromises with your partner and or family on the guest list, depending on who's paying for the wedding. So do bear this in mind. Well, that's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please do click the like button and remember to subscribe to My Wedding Scrapbook. You can also follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook, so please do. I'll be back next week answering more of your wedding dilemmas. Have a good one. See you then.